Bitwarden, very good password manager. Pretty much completely free to use with not that much incentive to upgrade to a premium model. Works fine free, open source, audited, a pretty good password manager. But there is something called NordPass. Should I review it? Let's see what some of the other reviews on YouTube um, look like in the rankings. See if there's a decent array of review already. Oh, cyber news. Interesting. Pete Matheson. Uh, who's this guy? Uh, oh, just some random dude who makes phone videos. Okay. Another cyber news. Cyber news. Cyber news. All things secured. Yikes. VPN Pro. Yikes, Cyber News. Wow, Cyber News really, really likes uh, NordPass. Anyways, guys, I thought it would be good to have a objective review of uh, NordPass on YouTube since there doesn't really seem to be one already, at least in my opinion. But we're gonna be checking it out today, see if it's worth to use, see if it can compete with something like Bitwarden that pretty much doesn't really have any downsides as far as I could see it. You could self-host it as well. With something like Vault Warden, which I even made a tutorial for on my channel. Go check that out if you wanna self-host your own password manager with Vault Warden or the open source version, self-hostable version of Bitwarden. So guys, I'm gonna be putting my affiliate link down in the description down below if you do decide to wanna purchase NordPass. I'm telling you this before we've even reviewed it um if you want to help support the channel you could click on that if you like what i have to say about nordpass if not don't click on it and you don't need to support me either way this is going to be an objective review not incentivized by money or anything like that i've been using bitwarden for three or four years completely happy with it going into this as skeptical as possible, as objective as possible to give you my honest opinion because I didn't really like the other reviews on YouTube. I don't think they're as objective as this one is gonna be. So guys, let's get into the review right now. Today, we're gonna be looking at its pricing right now. So it is free with a 30 day premium trial. So it does seem to be free, but there is a premium trial that makes sense i had to say it again just wrap my mind around it it looks like we do have some um, upsells for the premium model um looks like you stay logged in when switching devices um what does that mean so you stay logged in when switching devices you can share items with people you trust give password access to emergency build trusted contacts identify scan data uh, manage pet family so overall, I, I, I'd say that the, the free model isn't too bad. And some of these are okay upsells, I would say. Uh, pretty similar to something like LastPass. The good news is they're not really gatekeeping anything like two-factor authentication, sync across devices, um, and anything like that. So it does seem to have pretty good functionality just from pricing alone. One thing I'm not sure is to stay logged in while I'm switching devices. You can stay logged in with NordPass on six devices at a time. You'll be logged out of some of your devices if you try to connect any more. Um, so maybe if you have more than six and you try switching or something, it could get annoying. I'm not really sure there. Looks like Nord is uh, advertising this exclusive deal um, that ends in nine hours. However, you have to take these with a grain of salt. Um, Nord loves to use these countdown clock marketing tactics and chances are it's a sale that's going on for a while. So don't really pay too much attention to that in my opinion. Um, so we're just going to be looking at the pricing as is now. So you have free, um, two year for around 50 bucks, um, one year for around 30 bucks and one month for around $5 premium. Um, so, um, let's go ahead and check it out. It looks like NordPass has been audited by Q53, um, which is okay. And we really want to just kind of see what the usability is like. Is the usability something better than, um, you know, like something like Bitwarden? Bitwarden is pretty good. One thing I don't like about it is the autofill is a little bit clunky on PC. It works fine on mobile. Mobile, no qualms at all with how Bitwarden works. Works perfectly, actually. But on PC, um, you have to click on the little icon in the top and autofill it that way. I always thought LastPass and some of those other ones had a little bit more intuitive um, interaction with autofilling on PC. So we'll have to see a Nord work. Now guys, one really important thing I wanted to mention before we start off my first impressions of the usability and how the application works is the fact that NordPass is not open source. 
this is a pretty big deal, uh, especially since competitors like Bitwarden are open source. Being open source is very important in the privacy community. And if something is open source, it's just objectively better, especially when it comes to something like password management. You know, with VPNs, we have open source protocols that they all pretty much use. So it's a little less important in some ways uh, because we know the protocol is being used and stuff like that. But with password management, I do think having something open source, especially when it comes to using something for free, is very important. And NordPass is not open source. I just wanted to make that clear before getting into the review, um, because that is probably the biggest con with NordPass as of right now, and probably will never be open source, at least from um, what I think. It, you know, it's not like NordVPN is open source either, so take that into consideration. It's something other reviews probably don't mention too often. And in fact, if I look at some of these other reviews on YouTube, like I mentioned, or even their website counterparts, if I control F, um, let me show you that here. Does a pop-up for NordPass. If I control F, um, you can see at the top here, I look up open source. There's no mention of open source in the actual review, which pretty much invalidates the whole review, at least in my opinion. So we're just gonna be making up some fake accounts um, and trying it out. So we actually have it installed already, uh, or we have at least the the you know installer installed so let's go ahead and see um what we're gonna do here so we're gonna log in so i just used like my nordvpn account and it seemed to create an account for me or something like that so ironically i am using bitwarden to make a password for nordpass the master password all right so i have now confirmed my master password um and this is what nordpass looks like so the interesting thing right away is that Bitwarden works more through like extension. You don't really download it per se. You might be able to, but it's not something you really do. And with NordPass, it's more like you download an application. Um, so we have an extension just like with um, um, Bitwarden. I gotta say this usability factor so far is pretty nice. Downloading an application, showing you where to download the extension is actually really nice. So we're gonna add that extension right now. Um, check if the code matches your browser. That's a pretty cool little security feature. So we confirm that. Um, now we have it installed. Let's go ahead and find NordPass. So we're gonna bookmark that. Um, and now here we are. So let's go ahead and try adding like a Reddit account or something like that. Um, so you can also import. Um, how does that import feature work? Wow, that's pretty cool. So you import specifically from a different password manager. It even has Bitwarden. Um, and you can even do from browser. I gotta say, this actually import is actually pretty clutch. Uh, it seems a little easier to use than some of the other import functions. Really good UI uh, off the bat. I really like this UI. Um, a lot of other ones kind of have to copy and paste the form. Let's see what it looks like. So you, it, it, I guess you just kind of do the same thing, but it does nice that you have that kind of drag feature in there to add it in. All right, so we are now in my Reddit. Let's go ahead and sign up for one. So here we have this Nord thing. Um, we don't have any personal info. Let's make a fake email address. Um, something like NordPassRules 113x at gmail.com. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I just did that. So let's go ahead and try to log in with one of my Bitwarden things. Um, so there's no password saved here. So I'll log into one of my dummy accounts. All right, so now it has this feature where I could save the login details. Um, so pretty standard there. So I'm going to log out and then try to log in again with that account I made. So let's see how the functionality works um, right away. It is a little bit better than Bitwarden. I have Bitwarden on right now, um, but there's no little thing here. What I could do with Bitwarden is right click and do this autofill and do that and that. It takes a bit, or I could just go to the top and click on it and click on it there. But again, I do like this functionality with NordPass. Wow, that was pretty cool. Um, so it just automatically put it in. Now let's see how it works when there's like more than one account. All right, so now we have that account. So now we have two accounts here. Let's see how it works. So you click on it. It gives you the option of very nice layout to just pick whatever one you want. Um, and then we just click it and boom. So yeah, pretty good. Um, gotta say pretty nice UI there in terms of the extension and everything like that. So now we have our NordPass application. We could go here and see those immediately added, which is nice. There's no delay in syncing or anything like that. 
Um, let's go ahead and try moving it to trash. There you go, pretty simple. Um, let's see if there's like a feature where you could bring it back from the trash. Um, so you can restore it, so that's nice. Nord seems to have thought out a lot of these things. The cool thing is you can add secure notes, um, credit card information, if you really wanna give them everything about you. That's pretty cool, the online form filler. Um, you can have shared items between someone else and you. Um, we also have password generator tool. That's pretty cool, nice little thing here. Um, you could change the length of it um, if you want words or not. That's actually really nice. Um, so overall, and password health feature, data breach scanner. So this is gonna be kind of like, hi, hi, have you been pwned? Um, emergency access, um, so pretty nice. Honestly, guys, I kind of came into this not expecting too much um, from this. You know, as someone who uses Bitwarden and stuff like that, I've been completely satisfied with it. But I gotta say, NordPass here is doing pretty good at giving a more accessible approach to um, password management. At the end of the day, guys, it's really up to you. If you value something being open source and truly as transparent as possible, then Bitwarden is probably still the best choice out there. But if you are looking for something that's a little bit more usable, feels a little bit better to use, has a little bit more features built into a core application um, with better day-to-day -day autofill, then NordPass isn't the worst option. I think it's actually probably one of the best options if that's what you value. It's really up to you guys though, and I'll let you decide that because that's the point of a review, right? It's giving you the information and letting you decide with it um, which is the right use case for you. Anyways, guys, I hope that makes sense, and I'll see you again in the next video very soon.